Welcome to Liquor Talks, where we're drinking down, where we're drinking down. Come on, baby, show me how to do this. We want to do this. You're doing fine. Shake your body for me. Ow! Motherfucking pencil dick, motherfucking cocksucker. Let's turn that off for a second, shall we? Ooh, always gets the blood pump in that Donkey Kong. Eh? That that Donkey Kong. It could be the donkey. The donkey. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Liquor Tux. A show about anything and everything with a splash of liquor. Today's drink of choice, vodka, carbonated water, flavored water, and with a little wedge of lime or not lime orange orange peel i'm switching over to this carbonated water to try and substitute it for pop mm. that tastes like shit so gross it tastes like bubbly acidic water mixed with dank cheese with a hint of fruit that is just past its prime and how do i know what dink cheese tastes like well I was an exploratory teenager. Give it, give it, give it here. Come on. If you want to play, give it here. He just fucking stands there. I got a ball in my mouth. Uh, despite this shit drink, I am in a fantastic mood. How about everybody else? Are you in a great mood? So in lieu of the remake movie of Dr. Doolittle with the awesome Robert Downey Jr. I hate remakes, but I'm sure he'll make uh, the movie worthwhile. In relation to that, I downloaded an app that can translate what animals are actually saying. So um, Dr. Doolittle camera, Garcia, show us an animal. Do you know what the day goes on? Well, I'll tell you. They are the little pieces of shit that stick to your ass hair. Cause wherever you go, they go. Get it? Wow. <laughs> little pieces of shit stuck to your ass hairs, eh? I don't know what that's like. <laughs> wherever you go, they go. Do we have another one from the Doolittle camera? What do you think you're doing over there? You get your butt back over here. I wasn't finished smelling it. I need to smell your butt. I hope he was talking to me. I mean, I, I hope he was talking to... I, I mean, I hope he was talk... Wait, what? I hope he was talking to me. You know what I fucking find fucking absolutely mind-blowingly hilarious? When people say, you're my rock, like... Oh, so-and-so, you're so my rock. I couldn't do anything without you. You're my rock. I don't know why I had my hood on. Like a fucking Unabomber. <laughs> Remember that guy? Anyways, you know what I fucking hate? People that say that you're my rock. This usually happens in relationships. In some ways, that's 100% correct. The person is like a rock. Holding you down, they can make you sink, or they can squash you like a bug. In that retrospect, yeah, they're like a rock. If you need or you think you need someone to be your rock just to make you a better person, then you're a lost cause. You'll never be as strong as you could be, period. Because you're always, always going to depend on somebody else to make you stronger. You're just setting yourself up to fucking fail. I have exes, and guess what? Some of them used to call me their rock. Oh, they're my rock. Uh, couldn't do anything without you. Uh, 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 uh. And guess what? Now they're with some other person. And guess what they say about the other guys that they're with now? You guessed it. More of that rock bullshit. Either they aren't strong enough as an individual, or they just like collecting rocks. Hey, eh, Kippy? That's one or the other. Bunch of motherfucking geologists. Hey, Kippy? Just a bunch of motherfucking geologists. So fuck that shit. Be strong. Be yourself. Don't rely on others to make you stronger. Just be better on your own. And the rest will come. Dr. Doolittle Camera, what do you got for us? Please don't tell me that Hunter's looking at me. 
Oh dear, oh dear, I feel you dear, those crazy deers, oh dear. Do we have another animal there, buddy, on the on the Doolittle camera there, bud? Yeah, I think we do. I don't know if you know this, but my butthole is a very smelly. My butthole is a very smelly. Well, Garcia came up with the game recently. A little gamey for me. A little game! <laughs> and uh, I think it's a pretty neat idea. Basically, he's gonna pop up a couple random celebrities, old or new, whatever, whatever they may be. And I'll try and just give my two cents about it, see what comes up. We call this what Mark thinks about celebrities that Garcia picks out and shows Mark at random so Mark can say his two cents about random celebrities that Garcia shows him. It's a working title. All right, Garcia, let's show the first one, eh? Candace Bergen. Bergen? Candace Bergen. Bergen? Good old Murphy Brown. Oh, Murphy Brown. <laughs> mm, sophisticated woman! She was the only lady, for me growing up, that could scare away my boner as a kid. But, uh, maybe she didn't look enough like a man. Maybe she didn't look enough like a man? Alright, who's next? Coolio. More like not so coolio so anymore so Joe Blow Bo? This guy will always be cool in my books though. I don't know anybody over the age of 30 that doesn't know the vast majority, if not all of the lyrics to Gangster's Paradise. I don't think anybody really achieves that in their lifetime other than the who let the dogs out guys. Who's next there, bud? Mm. Helen Hunt. I used to have a big crush on her. Still do. She's a smoke show. Ever wonder how she got so famous though? Maybe it was because of her name. Because her name rhymes with a female body part. Can you guess it, Garcia? You don't want to guess it? Why not? Okay, I'll say it. Melon. Helen? Melon? You get it, Garcia? What? Or are you thinking something else? What? What were you thinking? Oh, cunt. Hunt? Cunt? That could work too. Melon cunt. <laughs> hey, Garcia! Melon cunt. <laughs> Melon cunt! <laughs> Melon cunt! <laughs> oh, Melon cunt! All right, buddy, who's next? <laughs> ah, Callista Flockhart. Oh, Callista Fuckhart. Callista Fuckhart. Callista Fuckhart. Callista Fryerkart. She just kind of, she kind of scares me. She's like a real life skeleton that's skinny. She's kind of like just too skinny, you know? She's just too skinny. But on second thought, Look at her face. Garcia, can you pop up a picture of Franklin the turtle right beside her? That's what I thought. I think we found Franklin the turtle's mother. Look at that. Spitting image. Almost identicals. I wonder who the father would be. Hmm. Is that it, Garcia? Cool. That was actually a lot of fun. I think we'll keep this segment going, but maybe next time pick actors that have actually acted in something in the last 15 years or singers, or celebrities, or whatever. Yeah? Yeah, whatever. Do whatever you want, Garcia. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. So, uh, we're ready for another Doolittle Cam. Let's see what the Doolittle Cam has for us. Tis a beautiful day it is. It looks mighty nice out there. As long as no kids fall in my area, I'm gonna be a-okay. Was that ombre? Ombre? Hambre? Hamburger? Hamburger the gorilla? I guess they recorded that before they capped his ass. Since some dumb kid fell in your fucking area, you gotta die, I guess. Poor gorilla. They should have swapped the kid with the parent. They should have said, oh, who, who's the parent? Who's the parent of this kid that fell in here? Oh, I am gonna save him. You fuck, push him. And then save the kid. And then see you later. You deal with the gorilla parent. And then you fucking find your own way out. We're not shooting our gorilla. Fuck that. 
So I was at the bar a while back and they were playing Macklemore. Macklemore Thrift Shop, the explicit version. Now you usually don't hear that version because it's a radio friendly song and you hear it on the radio primarily. So you just don't hear it that often. So I, I thought of a little joke right away and I wanted to use it on somebody. So I needed a drink, I headed to the bar and I decided to try and spit my wit towards this guy's way as I was just pulling up next to him at the bar. So I say, ouch, I never heard the explicit version version of this song my fucking ears you know not a totally bad off the cuff joke i i think it's worth a chuckle but you know i turned to like looked at him no expression no smile no laugh nothing and then he uh faced my way and he said something to me turns out that joke was wasted on that guy he was deaf and i think he told me to go fuck myself in deaf language. Either that, or he said, tow trucks and belts? Tow trucks and belts. <laughs> do, little Cam. Do your magic. Forever you will be known as my favorite shit I've ever shot in my life. You filled with hair and bits of sock and all sorts of good stuff that my owner did not want me to chew, but I did chew. You can't stop me from chewing. That will be my favorite mm. shit. Mm. <laughs> Sounds like an epic shit there, Sir Pups a lot. Another one? Let's do another one. Let's fucking do another one, man. Oh, heck. <laughs> you see those pretty ladies over there? I wonder if they can see my big old hairy nuts hanging down. <laughs> I bet they can. It's big and hairy and veiny. I think we found my brother from another monkey mother. My brother from another monkey mother. <laughs> All right, my friends. This is where we get serious. This is going to be a social media meltdown. Now, today, I'm gonna be using Facebook. And we'll see what uh, what we got here. It snowed recently in Canada, believe it or not. Fuck, every time it fucking snows, it seems like everybody Whoa, it snowed? Oh my god! It snows all the time in Canada during winter. Every winter, it snows. Surprise, surprise. Oh, it's unbelievable. Mm, I like that. Women who can shred on guitar, who can play guitar like really well. I think it's sexy as fuck. In fact, I said that around one of my girlfriends once, and I just said something like, oh, that chick's hot. Like, oh, why? Because she can just play the guitar. And yeah, like, because she can play the guitar. And like, she was good looking. I'm, I'm pretty sure she was good looking. But I was more impressed by the way she could play guitar. And she was like, well, why can't she just be known as a good guitarist, not just a sexy woman? It's like, well, she can be both. She It, it can make her powerful in, in both ways. Like, it doesn't have to be male, female, or anything. And I'm sure throughout, I don't know, hundreds of years, ever since the guitars have been made, I'm pretty sure women have never objectified a man because he can play a guitar like a motherfucker. Hmm, I'm pretty sure women don't do that. No woman has ever done that, right? Fuck. God damn it. That's the only reason why you learn guitar. <laughs> Not the only reason, but the only reason. Jesus. Anywho, fuck your sexism. Oh, it didn't take long today. Wow, that's a comment. That's a comment. Okay, somebody wrote a comment about dick pics, about a guy sending her dick pics, and uh, she's just complaining about it. Now, don't get me wrong. I think dick pics are fucking terrible. But that comment that she left, that's class. I'm sure your granny wants to see that on her feed bright and early on a Sunday morning. Oh, what is blah, blah, blah have to say today? Oh, dick pics. Oh, she's getting dick pics. I wish I was getting dick pics. Maybe granny wouldn't mind, actually. But it's really funny because this particular person has actually requested dick pics from people that I know. What a tangle web we weave, eh? What a tangle web some people weave. 
it's a confusing age for women nowadays though it it is at the same time i side with women on this but at the same time it fucking melts me down a little bit because it's so fucking hypocritical it's a little bit hypocritical but like i said i do side with women on this so many guys think it's just cool to send random women their dick pics and it's it's quite sick actually and geez guys obsess much about your junk like you're taking pictures oh yeah that's a good one and then i'm gonna send it to girls oh i like that cockpick they're more obsessed with the cockpick than getting the attention of women sounds kind of um gay sounds um gay guys that's kind of um gay are you um gay fuck but that's a good indication to uh, end the show, I think. Fucking hypocritical social media meltdown. Maybe one more animal from the Doolittle camera. Hey, Garcia. Pop one more up there, please. Yeah, man. Life isn't that easy for a tortoise like me, you know. My neck and my head looks like a fucking rocking cock. And you know what, I'm slow as fuck, but you know, I'm still good to fuck. Fuck hard. I did not know that about tortoises. Hmm. What's that, Garcia? He's got another one? Okay, let's let's hear it out. Let's hear it out. What did the tortoise say to the big boulder? Nothing. He fucked it and made it sticky with his, uh, you know, tortoise semen. Because, you know, he fucked it. We like to fuck hard. Hmm. Classy A. F tortoise dude classy a f thank you again for joining me cheers and i hope you get the day you deserve cheers okay guys i want to talk about something a little bit serious here for a minute it's something that i've been meaning to get off my chest for many years now something i knew about myself since i was 13 you know maybe even Maybe even earlier, I don't know. Those who were close to me probably already know this. Even some of you watching this or listening probably already know this as well or could figure it out, I guess. I, I don't hide it that well. And this may not be the best way to announce it, but I just feel comfortable doing it this way. Okay, here it goes. I'm not a Red Hot Chili Peppers fan. Oh, that feels good. That feels good, man. That feels fucking great. I've been waiting so long to get that out. Woo! Woo! Yay, mom!